Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you It's only this moment, don't care what can gather Yeah, I feel the dream, can't you see you getting closer Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open It's a picture in the pulpit and your blind devotion There's something breaking at the brick of every wall It's holding all that you know Hiya guys! Um... First of all, I just wanted to apologise after the developer of Autumn Magic and a member of the team viewed my video. They pointed out that my font was uh, unreadable, so as you can see I've changed it. Um, also I went a little bit too fast, so I'm going to try and slow it down today. And I needed to show touches. So as you can see, I've now done that. So once again, I apologise. And if there's any questions, um, you're stuck, something like that, feel free to comment. I'll get back to you as soon as done. So today, I'm really, really excited for this tutorial. It's very, very popular in Automagic, Tasker, all of them. Um, so what it is, is you get into a car, and you turn on your Bluetooth on your device and it automatically connects and it starts playing music. Uh, Pre-warning, I've got a Polaroid BT. It's relatively old. Whereas my device is updated version of Bluetooth, my Polaroid BT isn't. I do need to upgrade it. So sometimes the music might start playing on the actual tablet. For that I do apologise. Um, I've tested this on more updated Bluetooth devices and it's worked instantly. With my po Polaroid Book BT, sometimes it likes to mess around. So I will show you quickly how it works. I'm just going to make sure that I've turned it on. Yes, I have. So Bluetooth on. And there we go, for once it actually wanted to work instantly, yay! So, that's that, it's very very fun, so helpful as well. So, without any further ado, we'll get straight into it. So this is my profile, and for this tutorial I am going to turn it off. And I've now sorted it all out, because, well, it's me, let's face it. So there's the previous one we've done and we're going to go to new flow. So trigger, going to go on to a select trigger, here's all the previous ones we've used previously but um, you can feel free to use that but I'm going to show you new. So the main one, the trigger that we want to happen is, if I can spell once again, oh dear. Right, Bluetooth state. We want turning uh, t t Bluetooth state on. Do not put turning on. In the previous, uh, in the other video that I've done before this, um, that I've had to delete, I put turning on, and it would not work for the life of me. So whatever you do, just put on. Nothing else. On. Reuse. The other trigger that we need is when the device has connected. So with me, I need to turn on my actual Bluetooth first. Um, it's Bluetooth device connected. So it's down to you guys. You can do all devices or specific device. I prefer um, a specific device. And there we go. Save. And there's our triggers, which are very, very important. Because if you don't have a trigger, then it won't work. So, we need to do an action, and that action is, um, with me, I tend to use uh, one called sleep. Reason being is, as I've pointed out, because my Polaroid is relatively old, it needs to sort of catch up with the system to make sure it all works. So, I tend to do a sleep for one second whilst keeping the device awake to be on the safe side. So after that, uh, you can do another action. This is completely down to you guys. I have an app called Bluetooth Auto Connect, 
the reason why I have it is because I'm an old school gamer on Android um, for EPSXE and such. It's really very handy when you use this it stops your controller from lagging when you're on the game. So the joys of being a gamer you need that. Um, so we go to action but as I've said it is completely down to you. It is on, on the blue, uh, play store so feel free. So we go to plugin and there it is. If you can't find it there it, all are. So you go to configure, do not use global settings because then you can't modify it and edit it to your taste. So the most important one is the Bluetooth device. So we put it to the top of the list and it is ticked because that's the main one. Profile action 100% connect. If it's disconnected, nope, you've uh, got a problem there. Right, so. Um, by the way, I've been told that my flows are messy, so for that I do apologise, um, but it is what it is. I do tend to tidy it up after, but what you do is up to you. You can follow exactly how I'm doing it, or you can mess around with it, and it's actually quite fun. So the next one is action again, and this action is for the actual auto magic for to do. So you go to Bluetooth again. And you go to connect and disconnect Bluetooth device. Um, very, very important, guys. With the Bluetooth profile, if it's an audio player, you have to put advanced audio distrib distribution. Okay? That is very, very important. If it's a headset, put headset. If it's input device, put input device. But uh, because it's a media device, I need Polaroid. Connect. 100%, once again, if it's disconnect, then you've got a bit of a problem on your hands. And you'll sit there for hours wondering what on earth is going on like I did when I first started this. So, then we go back to trigger. So once that's all done, what will happen is you'll put the Bluetooth on, it will sleep for one second, and then it will automatically connect to the Bluetooth device. So for trigger, now you need to do a condition this condition is if it's true what will it do if it's false what will it do so with the condition you need to do the what Bluetooth device is connected once again any device or specific device with me it's Polaroid Bluetooth profile you can pick it if you really want to but I personally find it more easier to put Bluetooth profile any save reuse because I've used this so often it is unbelievable right <clears throat> once again true if it's connected what do we want it to do true because it's actually connected so we want it to once again this is down to you I'm going to sleep again because as I said Bluetooth device rubbish blare one second, you can modify it how you want. Um, if you've got an old Bluetooth device too, then you can play around with the timing and just stuff like that really. Uh, sleep and then another action. And this I was so excited about. So it depends if you've got an app. Um, with me, I launched an app for it to play and it really got on my nerves because it kept on going to the actual app. I didn't want it to. I wanted it to stay on to the um, home screen screen because I use PowerAmp. So when I found this, I was absolutely over the moon. So play and you go to control audio player. So it's completely up to you, but I really would suggest using play. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. Um, you can do widgets for this as well, but we'll get on to that eventually. It is completely down to you. You can send it to a specified app. Um, for this tutorial, I am going to just be using the normal media player. Usually I use PowerRamp, but I can't bother to faff around with all of that. Save. Reuse. So there we have it. Trigger. What it, uh, if it's connected, if it is connected, here's what it will do. 
moment Bluetooth is on, it will start connecting. You can do false. I'm not sure what you could do. I haven't got that far yet. Um, so, yeah. Right, so let's get this party started. Once again, if it messes up, if it messes up again, then I do apologise. Um, it's the joys, unfortunately, of having a lovely old Bluetooth device. So we're going to switch this flow on. And very quickly, guys, if you go up here and go to rename, you can rename it. I am just going to put BT Connect um, and then M. I can't spell MT standing for magic tutorial but I'll put an A there just in case and there we have it so there we go all right I've just put on the Bluetooth device wait until it's come on turn on Bluetooth and there we go it's messed up again Oh, good boy. <sighs> Word of advice, guys. Get a decent Bluetooth player, please. Right, let's try that again. Right, Bluetooth device on. I'm going to move this a little bit. Turn it on. Are you going to connect? You want to connect, good. And there we go. And it's working. And best of all, it stayed on the home screen. You can put the display off and it will work. Just connected. So, there we have it. Right. What I'm going to be doing is uh, in the next tutorial that I'm hoping to get done today. Um, I am going to be showing you, instead of being, if you don't, if you fancy being lazy, how to do a widget or get the widgets that I've got. And in another tutorial as well, I'm going to show you a really, really cool one where when you've got your display off, if the music's still playing, Bluetooth will stay on. If the music and the Bluetooth device isn't connected, the Bluetooth will be off when the uh, display uh. is off. Also, you can do battery saver and stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned. I hope to speak uh, speak to you soon. As I said, just give me a um, subscribe. It would be absolutely fantastic. And I will love you guys for absolutely ever. Comment any questions, etc, etc. Right. Etc, etc. Sorry, I had to do that. Anyway, ta-ta guys. Bye.